Game and Movie presents interviews from MGC 2017. What is up, everyone? This is Tony with Game and Movie Podcast here at the Midwest Gaming Classic 2017 in beautiful Brookfield, Wisconsin. It is beautiful. Beautiful day, too. <laughs> yes, yeah, indeed. Beautiful weather today. With me have uh, some of the developers and makers, originators, yep. creators, designers. Yeah, everything. Of, everything. Of the, everything. The new arcade game, builders. Cosmotrons, which is an awesome... It's just fun to say, honestly. Uh, what are your names? So my name is Shane Guprode. My name is Dave Furr. All right. So Cosmotrons, I just got a chance to play it. Yep. This is super cool. A four-player. Am I correct? Yes. This? So as of right the second. Yep. Four-player. <sighs> okay. So you're. <laughs> there are four buttons in front of you. Uh, the uh, the two on your left are to pilot your ship left and right clockwise or counterclockwise. Correct. And then the two buttons on your right. One is for thrust and one is for fire. Got it. You can hold down the fire button for a super weapon and there is gravity involved. Other than what I just said, which is exactly what I just experienced, tell us a little bit more about the game. Sure, so like the, the big point, what it, like try and imagine you're a, a pilot, a space pilot in the future yeah. and you're trying to gain these territories for your country. So you're trying to gain fuel resources and territories. <laughs> So your mission is to go out there and pilot different ships, and you get to choose your ship type. So it's asymmetrical battling. So there's we're at, right now we have six different ship types, like the jalopy, the fighter, the beast, the recruit, the snipes, the squid. So we got all these different ship types, and you go out there, you battle, you try and gain those territories, and if you gain it, you're if they're the last one surviving, no matter how you do it, <laughs> whether you destroy the others or you outfly them, that is a success. Right, and I think you alluded to this, but all the ships have different attributes you know the sniper's got a snipe shot and it actually goes through territory yeah so you can kind of hang out different strategies for different ships based on what that ship is capable of so you really have to change up your strategy depending on what ship you've chosen and maybe even the territory that you're in it can really change how you play it's beautiful I, and, and that's something that i glossed over was the choice of ship which obviously from what both of you have said is a huge point in this game yeah as you so, play it more and you get a little more advanced in understanding how to pilot the ships you start to get get some of the nuances of the ship types and even the charge shots can really change yes uh how you play excellent yeah i got to test out a couple of uh my charge shots which i think the one that i picked was uh just kind of a, a barreling fat bullet and it yeah. was like the cosmo Buster. yeah you 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 have to be a, a marksman <laughs> yes. but when you hit somebody it feels so satisfying. I can imagine <laughs> it would feel the best. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with a game on the NES called Solar Jetman. You know what? We had somebody stop by and mention that game. To We've us. had some people mention that game. I know that was something you just said, yep. and and I was surprised with how quickly you picked up on the game. Apparently, from playing Solar Jetman. <laughs> yeah, so, sure. Uh, obviously, those mechanics helped you really pick the game up quickly. So that's that's something I'll have to check out. I've never played. Yeah, it, see, actually. I'm really interested in checking that game out now. Uh, yeah. For the for the NES, it was. Uh, uh, developed and published by Rare with help of Zippo really? Games, and okay. it's one of I think it's one That's of the one of their early games. Then it, no one talks about this game, but what it did on the NES with the gravity physics was unbelievable. You had never seen anything like this, sure. it, like it, like that type of like physics engine on the lowly NES. Yeah, yeah. So immediately I was like, I'm getting Solar Jetman vibes from this. <laughs> I'm already into this, and I yeah. love the fact that I mean, you know. Solo Jetman's a one-player game. It's it's like okay. kind of like exploring desolate planets, and you have to fend for yourself. Cosmotrons yep. takes this into the multiplayer arena. Yeah. For oh man, it's it's so chaos and it's so much that. fun. Yeah. yeah, it's like an evolution, and I I'm already in love. I you guys <laughs> have done well so far, and well, it's still developing it. it, right? Yes, yes, that's right. We're still in relatively early development. We really wanted to bring it out to MGC to see what people thought. Yeah, get people playing it, get feedback for how it was, and we've had a lot of really positive feedback. So yeah, I heard you that. won an award. Yes. By the way, congratulations! Thank yes. you very much. So we Thank actually you. won uh, the best of show people's choice for multiplayer video game. So Beautiful. I'm very, very uh, happy to receive and honored to receive that award because that award comes from the other people that bring machines to the show. Heck yeah! So you know those are the very dedicated people. So to, for them to, <laughs> to select us and say, "Hey, this is the game that we thought was best of show." And it really makes all that hard work pay off because, yeah. man, we we are losing some sleep. <laughs> the last, it's been last some long few nights, weeks yeah. up to MGC. So also, th this game uses uh, vector graphics I, or vector looking Simu graphics. Simulated. Yeah, yeah. Trying which to is make uh, that it, look and feel. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a stylistic choice that I really dig. 
Nice. Uh, Good. We uh, appreciate that. Yeah, it's um, it's awesomely retro like that, and it uh, reminds me of Vectrex, obviously. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we have like some additional kind of touches on it, like some particle effects, and you got some of the layering and stuff like that. But yeah, it was definitely a design choice to have that kind of simple visuals because we want you to imagine in your head yeah. what it looks like, not just to show you what it looks like, but for you to kind of picture what does that ship actually look like? What does that planet surface actually look yes. like? Yes. Great. Yeah. So uh, anything you want to tell me about the development cycle that has been uh, specifically trying or uh, really rewarding? I, you know, both, both sides of it. Uh, uh, any know, stories that come to mind, anyway? The most difficult player select screen. That, yeah. To me, that was the biggest pain. Yeah, you know, actually, a lot of it has been just making it so somebody can walk up and understand what they're supposed yeah. to do, right? Really making it, trying to make it so that people, you don't really have to answer questions or explain it. Intuitive. You should just exactly. kind of walk yeah. up yeah. and be like, oh, okay, I pick a ship, I, I pick a charge shot, I, you know, and, and uh, we, we went through a lot of iterations with that. The rest of it has just been... You know, a lot of playtime with our friends. We've had a, a, a really dedicated group of people that just enjoyed playing our game throughout the process and seen it grow. Lots of support there, which is really cool. We've gotten a ton of feedback from that, and it's really helped us balance the game and, and make a lot of development choices that I think have turned it into a, a very balanced game. You know, yes. the, you run that risk with all the different ship types and all the different charge shots. Right, yeah, you do. Sudden, some combination is super overpowered. And we don't want it to be like that. We want a lot of. You balance. want it to be equal, yeah, balanced. Yeah. And that, that's so. Um, yeah, that, so <laughs> that first initial screen, the balancing. What has anything been super joyous about that? I mean, I'm sure this event has been super joyous. This, for oh, you guys, been, yeah. tons of fun. Like this just the event. reception of the game, and uh, it's been great. And just the people getting on there and playing. It. And we've had a lot of people come play it on the arcade machine. We talk with them, and they say, "Oh, we're gonna go home and download it right now because we have the alpha." We're gonna call it demo. We have that available for download right now. Beautiful. So I'm going to download it. Absolutely. Well, we Absolutely. appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so where are you out of? We're we're actually so we're out of southeastern Wisconsin. Oh so, really? Yep. Yeah. It, yeah we're close so to really home. Close. Yep. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Homegrown. Yep. Right so we're, here. Midwest. We're both like within a half hour from here. Yeah. Wow. I live Beautiful. about a half hour from here. My day job's in Milwaukee. Yep. Oh. Heck yeah, all right. So, yeah. So, um, so you'll just be in more of us. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, it's like will. a closer, um, just tell everyone that's listening how they can get a hold of you. You guys got a website. Just yep. pimp it so, out. Yeah, so thanks. Our Facebook site, www.facebook.com slash Cosmotron's game. So, go check us out on there. That's the best place to go. And otherwise, you can go www.cosmotronsgame.com. Uh, as of right now, that'll just take you to our Facebook page. But yeah, on there, there's a there's an icon, a blue icon that says "Play Game." That'll take you to uh, the download, which takes you to itch.io. So if you search Cosmotrons on there, you should be able to find it. But generally, if you just Google search Cosmotrons, like we're usually the first thing that comes up. There's not too much called that. Yeah, yeah, it's a unique name. But yeah, <laughs> check us out on Facebook. Like you said, you can get the alpha. Plug some controllers into your computer and you can play with your friends. Yep, Beautiful. controllers or keyboards. Uh, oh, four also, player right do you, now. Do you have internet capabilities with uh, the versus mode? Or this is alpha, so I'm thinking, uh, is that a plan in the future? So it's definitely something we've talked about. It's definitely something we. We. I can tell about. you guys are like looking at each other yeah. with that knowing look, like, yeah. oh boy, here he goes. No, we, it's something. It's something that we think we really want to do. Um, but, you know, that was a lot of what we wanted to come here this weekend, engage the reception, yep. uh, engage the interest, right? And if there's the support port, we really want to do it, right? It's all about if we get the support to do it. You and know what? I, I think this, this game could be really good on Xbox Live or the you right. know PlayStation PS4, Store. PS4, uh, I, Steam, ho you know, hopefully we get it out on Steam. I wish you guys the best of luck. Uh, great job with the game, and thank you so much for your time uh, talking to us and letting us know yeah. about uh, Cosmotron. Yeah, you bet. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, yeah thank you for appreciate having it. us here. We appreciate the support. <laughs> Excellent. Take care. Hey, thanks everyone for listening and hope you enjoyed the interview. We've got lots of other content coming up here with specialty interviews and also our public question, which was, which three games would you bring with you on a deserted island? We asked everyone that, so stay tuned for all that and more. Thanks everyone and see you later from Game and Movie Podcast.